Hey everybody, it's Jake Brown from General RV and welcome back to day five of our virtual RV show. If you guys haven't yet, please go to our website and register at generalrv.com forward slash virtual RV show for email updates as well as some chances to win some great prizes. Up next, Matt and Andre are gonna walk you guys through a brand new 2021 Coachman Pursuit. We'll see you after this. Thanks, Jake. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt. I'm Andrea. And today I'm super excited. We're taking a look at the 2021 Coachman Pursuit Model 31BH. Matt, you know, this is a great RV for families that are just getting started into camping because it has bunks. Not only that, it's also one of the smallest Class A's with bunk beds, so it's easy to drive. Andrea, let's go check out the inside. Wow, look at this. This motorhome is nice. One full wall slide on the driver's side. Let's check out the cockpit area. Okie dokie. So Andrea, because this is the 2021, it does have the new Ford V8 engine. It's a 7.3 liter, 350 horsepower and 468 foot pounds of torque. What that means is it's gonna give you more horsepower and torque to help you get up those hills. And how you can tell it's a new 7.3 liter engine, it has the new modern steering wheel and it's great. Look at this, it has a computer tray. I love that. A lot of people are mobile now, perfect for a little home office. Yep, and then these seats do swivel to become part of the living area. And Andre, let me show this bunk over the cab oh, real quick. Oh, wow. Oh, Matt, it looks like it holds 300 pounds. Sure does. And what I like about it is that it's oh, real chair. nice, quick and easy. Yeah, that means to get it all no the way bells, down. no whistles. Yep, <laughs> just something else less that won't right. go wrong with there's no mechanical components. Looks pretty easy to put up. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love how the dinette and the sofa are two different colors. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Oh, this is pretty comfortable. I like how the TV's here. This is a cushion for when the dinette does drop down to make a bed. And we do have storage below each dinette. That's great on both sides. Yes, absolutely. What I'm a huge fan of is the sofa is right here. And Andrea, this is a small motorhome, it's 31 feet. But when I'm sitting here, I am looking directly at the television. It's really nice, I don't have to turn my head sideways. Also, yeah. if you wanna pull up one of those window shades, it's not like you'll lose your natural light right. or your airflow because they still manage to put windows there. And that is a, you know, that has three seats in that sofa, which yep. I'm really surprised. And oh, it makes a jackknife sofa. It's a jackknife awesome. sofa. Awesome. Look at this kitchen. Oh, wow. Look at these drawers. This is great, Matt. They're on a slide. Uh-huh. Oh, soft clothes. I wow. did not expect that at all. Very nice. Soft I love clothes. soft clothes drawers. Double sink. Check out these cabinets. Nice storage. You got a microwave, cooktop, and an oven. I'm always happy when there's an oven. And we got a cabinet under there. And we got a compressor refrigerator. Very yes. nice. Very nice. And what's so nice about this motorhome, Andrea, is these bunk beds. Now, in the beginning, we said this is good for families, but it's not just good for families because if you don't need to sleep this many people, what you do is you take out this mattress and you put it right over here and then you flip oh. this up. Oh, nice, and, and you have closet space. Yes, it goes to con a convertible wardrobe. This is perfect for somebody who might have grandkids who might come with them at times, but they don't always come with them. And so when they're not with them, you have the wardrobe and then when they are with you, you just drop it down and now you can sleep eight people comfortably. Absolutely. Let's check out this bathroom. Oh, you're coming through the other door. Two entries <laughs> to the bathroom. I love that. I'm gonna sit on the toilet here and see if it's good. It's nice, good angle. Very nice porcelain toilet and everything. I'm gonna check out this shower. Oh, I do like this shower. Okay, this is a good size. We got perfect height in here. 
LED light. I like this. Let me close these doors. Nice shower okay. enclosure. I like Radiant it. shower. And then you have your sink and medicine cabinet right there. Perfect. Let's finish up with the bedroom. Okay. Again, you have two access doors to the bedroom. You could do it from the bathroom or from right there. Andrea, this is a king size bed. It is, Matt. Wow. I, I like the headboard. Oh, it is kind of cute. And look, guys, wardrobes on both sides. Look at this storage. Very okay. nice storage. But even more, what's even more nice is check this out. Right here, you have a light, you have a plug. And when I first saw this, I said, why would you need the plug inside of a cabinet? Here's why. Oh. This drops down, and this is your Coachman CPAP station. I absolutely love that. So you can put your CPAP machine up here and then run the hoses down here so it's not taken the way. Great. And even if you don't like that, you still yep. have storage have on both sides. Yeah, that's, that's great. Okay. So we got the wardrobe over here. Nice. That's great. You have a TV. Okay. Very nice wardrobe. Very nice. TV, drawers, and everything. Andrea, the inside of this motorhome looks great, but I'm excited to show everybody some of the outside features. Let's go take a look. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I love this awning. Look yeah. at the pattern. Nice power awning with LED lights, and it goes the length almost of the whole motorhome. And as you said, it does have the nice pattern texture. Also, check this out. There is a speaker in the awning for a nice surround sound when That's you so are cool. watching TV on the outside. Awesome. Again, this is the Coachman Pursuit V8 engine. What I love about this Class A, you got your mirrors up here, but you also have cameras on your left blinker, right blinker in reverse. So it's gonna be very easy for you to navigate while driving down the road. And then check out this story. Wow. Imagine you go to the campsite with all the kids. They're gonna want drinks and snacks. Yep. You can put a huge cooler in here. You know, you just take it in, pop it in. That's why I love this big storage Definitely. door. Definitely. Because this is a Coachman Motorhome, they use what's called Asdale, which is a green composite material that will never delaminate on you. Uh, and so what that means is if there's ever a leak, if it has some wood substance in it, it could expand and that's what we'll call it delamination. With Asdale being the green composite, it won't ever do that to you. That's Coming right. down here, what's this? Electrical outlet. Yep, in case you have a golf cart at the campground and you need to plug it in. We got more storage. Yep. Wow. Oh man, we got a propane quick connect. Yep, just in case you want to have an exterior grill at your campsite and then look at that. What's wow, that right there? Wow, more storage. This has got a great amount of storage in this. Wow, that's real big and nice. And as you can see, it is past through a little bit. You know, good enough if you want a table. Okay. Coming around the, the back, you got a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. You have a backup camera right there. And Andrea, yes. what's that right there? The unleaded fuel tank. Do you know why I love it in the rear right there? Because when you go to these gas stations, it's gonna be hard to maneuver yes. such a big RV. You're able, doesn't matter what side the pump is on, you're able to fill up your tank on the left side or right side. It's definitely a great feature they put it on the back. Yep. So what do we got here? We got the generator, Matt. Yep, that's a Cummins Onan 5500 generator. And the reason why is because this is a 50 amp motor home with two air conditioning units. Right over here is your wet bay, your black and gray tank dump station. Also, you can see that you have an outdoor shower right here. Now, some people might be wondering, why do we put an outdoor shower right by the black tank? It's because once you undo your black tank hose, you can use the water and clean it all out. That's great. Okay. I think we got our power cord here. Yep. Power cords, look, that's a great place to show where you could store your sewer hose or anything. There's your power cord. We went a little lazy just for the shot and did it this way, but there is an access hole right there that you can run your power cord through so you can still keep this locked while you're camping. Okay. Now this is not storage, so let's see what, what would this it be? is. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh. One more in the center. Nope, one in the center. Oh. So I can tell you now that's the propane. Is it? 
Oh yeah, it is. Because there was no locks on that. Propane tank, that's gonna keep you warm. That's gonna power your water heater, your furnace and everything. Okay. And then we got one more storage compartment. Right oh yeah. There. Cause guess what folks? This is a motorhome and as big as it is, you will never have enough storage. I agree. Thanks so much for tuning in to the Virtual RV Show. Yes, if you can, we're doing the Virtual RV Show from now until the end of the month at all 13 of our locations. If you're unable to make the RV Show, make sure you give us a call or check out our show online at generalrv.com. Jake, back to you. Thanks, Matt and Becky. Make sure you guys stick around for more RV tours. We'll see you after this. I can't even imagine what my life would be like without road trips or camping trips. It's such a big part of who I am and travel indefinitely changes me. When you wake up with nature and the sun, I mean, you're there, you're a part of it. There's a connection that's so rooted within you and within nature itself. You can't get that when you're in a cabin. You can't get that when you're in a hotel, right? When you're camping, you're a part of the natural expressions and experiences that come up. I think that the thing that I love the most about solo adventure is that I'm totally my own boss. You know, I don't have to be on someone else's schedule or doing something that someone else has said by their word. I get to just holistically be myself. Knowing when I wanted to do photo and writing full time, I think came from an accumulation of experiences in the desert. It came from being alone and finding who I am out in nature. Nature because it's so precious and so so humble. Nature just does its thing. It doesn't it doesn't show off for anyone. It's it's just simply being what it is and being able to capture that and being able to be a part of that experience and in there in that moment is, is, is really special. I love driving because it allows me to kind of escape in my own mind. I like to solo drive a lot. I'm always on solo adventures and, and road trips for work or for assignments and it's just a place for me to escape and almost have this sort of silent meditation. Photojournalism is something that I feel the most connected to. I've always had this sense of, of love for writing and for documenting my adventures and memories. Photos can really only do so much. They capture a scene within a memory, but with writing you can go so much more detailed. For me that's the fun of it. I can explain my emotions, the, the sensories around me, and the environment. I want to just inspire people to take more adventures and it's okay to go outside of your comfort zone and to do something that you're not used to doing. That's where life begins and if a person is afraid to go on their own solo adventure I would just tell them to, to not be afraid and to just go out in the open and put yourself out there because that's where I think the creative process truly starts to form and that's where adventure really begins. A couple of my favorite places in Arizona would of course be Saguaro National Park. I mean, Saguaro's you don't get to see anywhere else. So it, when I say special, I mean it's truly special. And of course there's Mount Lemmon and the Chiricahuas. There's the Superstition Wilderness by Phoenix, which is just beautiful and offers a lot. And of course the Grand Canyon. No matter the distance, there's still an experience there that I can't get anywhere else and I can't even imagine not having that in my life. Mm -hmm. 
planning for your next family vacation? Enjoy a worry-free vacation by renting an RV from General RV Center, your premier rental partner. Our fleet of clean, non-smoking, current model year RVs can help take your family on the trip of a lifetime. Our friendly RV experts make the process simple. Once you've confirmed your reservation, we promise to have a clean and comfortable RV ready for you. We provide a comprehensive demonstration so you can travel with confidence. Plus, every RV includes full warranty coverage and a 24-hour support hotline for added peace of mind. Your adventure begins at General RV Center. Visit GeneralRV.com or call 888-548-9098 to speak to a rental expert. Hey everyone, welcome back. Up next, Matt and Andre are going to walk you guys through the brand new 2021 Thor Motor Coach 4 Winds. We'll see you after this. Thanks, Jake. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt. I'm Andrea. And today I'm super excited. We're taking a look at the all new redesigned 2021 Thor 4 Winds model 28Z. Hey Matt, isn't this the unit that has the all new white interior? It sure is. I'm super excited to show everybody. Me too. Let's get started. Oh wow, look at this. This is amazing. New redesigned interior and everything. Andre, this where should we start great. first? You know what? Should we just sit in the... Start in the cockpit area? Yeah. Let's Absolutely. see how comfortable this is. So, first thing to point out to everybody... This is great. This, we, we're in an E450 cab, but this has the new Ford 7.3 liter V8 engine. And how you can tell is that with this new modern steering wheel, it's really nice turning, Easeability, access on both sides. You have your cameras right there and everything. Pretty, Andrea. It's very comfortable and I have lots of space. I Wonderful. Mean. What's really nice, why I like Class C's is a few features. One, you have that safety component of the front cab being an E450 chassis. And then two. The spunk over the cab is great. Yes. Oh, you we can definitely fit a couple kids up here. And Andrea. Not just a couple, a few. <laughs> this holds a record 800 pounds. What? I have not seen a bunk over the Neither cab hold I. that type of weight. That's great. Now, this does have one slide out right over here. And on the slide out, we have this dinette. The dinette does drop down to make a bed. You have cup holders on both sides and it is direct. Uh, you have the TV right here. Look, it's storage on both sides. Wow. I really like that a lot. Very nice. I like that, you know, you have the sofa here, got the seat belts, cup holders, nice window, balances are cute. You know what, Matt? This also makes into a jackknife sofa. It sure does. So you can sleep like one person on here. And what I like is how you're sitting right there and the TV is directly across from you. Yes. But you're not, it's not just the TV on the wall. You're not losing window space because yes. what they did, they put the windows on both sides right there. Okay, let me check out this kitchen. Oh my gosh, look, they have these drawers. Uh-huh. That's great. I like that a lot. Let me see the sink. Very wow. nice. What's this over here? That is... Oh, I can't get it open. A tower of power. Wow. I love that. Look at that. It does have adjustable shelves in there. Uh-huh. That's great. Very nice. I wonder if they gave you... Let's see. Okay, nice little microwave. I like the stove. And you get an oven? Look at this drawer, Matt. Wow. Very interesting. Very nice. Oh. Your refrigerator is oh, wow. right there Look. as well. This is this is neat, huh? I don't see a lot of them like this. Oh. What type of refrigerator is that, Andre? It looks like it's a two-way. Two yep. Propane and shore power, everybody. Absolutely. All right, let's check out this bathroom. Right over here. Look at this. Good size shower. Wow, very nice size shower, I you must say. You know what? Say. I'm really glad it has this. That's Close a great it all the feature. way. 
I like that too, and I like the radius style and all yes. of this door. Gives you more room. More head space as well. You have your sink and everything, and then this toilet, it is a porcelain toilet. That's important to me, I like porcelain toilets. And yeah, you have plenty of, of space in here. It is a small bathroom. And then Andrea, show everybody the same Well, they thing. did do a good job here, leaving you at least some counter space. You do have a lot of storage in there. That's great. More under there, wow. Very nice. Oh, Matt, look, there's a bed there, north and south, so you don't have to have a slide out to actually sleep on this. So Correct. So boondocking, mm -hmm. that's great. A lot of times when you're in motorhomes under 30 feet and they give you a slide out in the bedroom, the bed does fold in half. This way, the bed's permanent, you're, it's always here, no slide outs in the bedroom, and it's easy to walk around. Wardrobe on both sides. Huge Got storage. two drawers over there. Look at this storage. Very wow. nice. I love what they're doing with the white cabinetry. Me too. And you know what? I like that there's windows on both sides. How do you like the valances? I like them. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. I like how it matches the headboard yes. and the uh, sheet on the bed. It all flows together. And this that, is not storage. <laughs> we just wanted to show everybody that that is not a storage compartment. <laughs> and then it is prepped for a tele television in the bedroom right here. And Andrea, the inside features look great, but I'm, I think it's time to show everybody the yes, outside features. Yes, I can't wait to see that. And yeah, we do get a privacy here, guys. Look, just we missed that, but you do have an accordion door here. Let's check out that outside. All oh, right, as you can see, when we step out of the motorhome, you have this nice power awning. I love how it's a white awning and it matches the motorhome, makes it feel light and airy. And if there is ever something wrong, if you if the rain starts to go too hard, you can actually pinch this awning wow. so the water flows one way or the other. That's a great feature. I love that. Because this is the new Ford E450 chassis, it's now, again, the 7.3 liter V8. And what that means is it's gonna give you more horsepower. It's now 350 horsepower and 468 foot-pounds of torque. It's an awesome engine. Oh, let's check out the storage. Oh, we got the propane here. Yep. Nice. Storage there, okay. Right over here, this is a nice piece of information I like to tell people. Thor upfits their chassis with more ride, okay? They're in a partnership. So other than your traditional manufacturers who would just make the motorhome on the chassis, with the partnership with Moride, they use the springs and the shocks to make it a lot better driving experience when going down the road. We got more storage. Show everybody what that is down there. Yep, that's a good size storage. Wow. With this being a you know 28 footer. Yep. What's that? The Quick Connect? Yep, that's the propane Quick Connect. If you want to show it. Oh, great! So you can bring like a propane grill. And Andrea, I'm glad you mentioned that. It is a 28Z, but the actual tip to tip length of this is 29 feet, 11 okay. inches. So everybody who is truly trying to stay under 30 feet, it works perfectly. And here's what I love. This is the big surprise. Because some people might have been saying the bedroom's a little tight since there's no slide out. But because of that, you get this <gasps> amazing wow. pass through storage. Look at that. And they give you like a table. That's nice. Yep. So right over there, Little explanation, you can access this on all three sides. Right there, that's where a spare tire goes. And Andrea, you are 100% right. That is a table. Nice, okay. Wow, for prepping your food or for out here eating, that's great. Now we're camping. Yeah. I absolutely love that. <laughs> and then coming around the back, you do have a bumper for your stinky slinky. Do you know the hitch? No, I'm not sure. What is it, 5,000? 7,500 7, pounds. Again, it can tow more because it doesn't have that type of slide out system. Ladder to get up on the one piece TPO roof, and you do have a backup camera right over there. I also like how the backup camera is integrated in that rear tail light. That's just one less hole on the motorhome. Okay, so I like that there's access on all three sides. It's a great feature. And then here's where you fill up your unleaded fuel. It is a 55 gallon fuel tank. Finishing up. You did a good job. Right down here. Here's where you dump your black and gray tank. As you can see, it's very easy to hook up. You have your gray tank valve there and your black tank pull right there. 
And then right over here. We got a generator. Is your Cummins Onan 4000 gasoline generator. I absolutely love that. Everybody, thanks so much for checking into the virtual RV show. Absolutely. We're doing this virtual RV show at all 13 of our stores nationwide. Please come into the store and stop by. We're running it from now until the end of the month. Or if you can't make it to one of our showrooms, not a problem. Just give us a call or check out the virtual RV show at our website. That is generalrv.com. Thanks so much, Jake. Back to you. Thanks, Matt and Andrea. Make sure you guys stick around for more RV tours. We'll see you back after this. Hi, I'm Craig Kleinfelter. I've been RVing now full time for over two and a half years. Almost jokingly at first, we're like, oh, we should just sell everything and move into an RV. And that just kind of turned into, well, why can't we do that now? How do you go? When I originally told my brother and his wife what our plans were, she said, what are you going to do with all your stuff? Two days. And I said, it's just stuff. I have everything I need right here. We're on the East Coast, that's where our family is for the holidays. And then we take five to seven month trips and we try to go places we've never gone before. We choose amazing places to go see. And in the last two years, we've been to 21 national parks and 27 states. We spend life on the road on our terms. Where we want to go, when we want to go there, for how long we want to stay, everything that we need is right here. Who knew buying an RV could be so simple? We were just browsing our computer thinking about how to spend the summer. When an ad caught our attention, the great outdoors is calling. Sounds good. We clicked on it and discovered General RV, the premier RV dealer, over 6,000 RVs, 13 super centers. Soon we were in their virtual showroom. With all the videos and 3D tours, it felt like we were inside the RVs. Wow, wow, wow. What does this do? This is amazing. I wonder if it's gas or diesel. That's a great question. This coach is a diesel, but if you're looking for gas, I have plenty of other options to show you. Plus, we offer home, home delivery. delivery. How could this get any easier? This RV is perfect for us. We were ready to start our RV adventure. So, so we, we did. did. And sure enough, our new RV was in our driveway in no time. After our personalized RV demo, we were handed the keys and ready to go camping. Who knew buying an RV could be so simple? Hey, welcome back everyone. Up next, Matt and Andrea are gonna walk you guys through the brand new 2021 Integra Accolade Super C Diesel. Let's have a look. Jake, hey everyone, I'm Matt. I'm Andrea. And today we're taking a look at Integra's Super C Diesel. This is the 2021 Integra Coach Accolade Model 37 TS. Now Matt, this is a great unit that gives you three slides. Absolutely. Let's take a look at some of the inside features, then we'll take a look at what's going on under the hood. Let's go.
Wow. Matt, is this a new change in Absolutely. the furniture? Inside the 2021 Accolade, they made a new change with the furniture. Sit down on it. Feel the it's material. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's like a. How would you describe this? A I, cloth. It's maybe type more of like a kind of vinyl micro. pleather. It's it's not like leather and it's not like vinyl. It's kind of yep. softer. In between. More but, durable though. Yep, absolutely. Beautiful floor plan. I love what they're doing with the 2021. Look at that. But first, first thing we got to start oh, off with this chassis. Yes, it deserves a lot of attention, everybody. So this is. I'll tell you guys more about the chassis on the outside. It is an international S2 RV chassis, but I absolutely love this. Diesel power, 360 horsepower with an Allison 3000 transmission. Andrea, how's the driver's seat? It's comfortable. It is. The passenger seat is comfortable. The passenger seat is even more comfortable than the driver's seat. And uh, you have your auto leveling right here, your Allison 3000 transmission, just the push of a button. You do. It does come with Apple CarPlay. And let me tell you something, Andrea. It's not a super C without the air horn. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Also, we do have a bunk over the cab. Look at this. Andrea, do you know how much this holds? Uh, I believe 750 pounds. Andrea. Am I right? 750 <laughs> pounds for this bunk over the cab. And what makes uh, an Integra Class C iconic is this huge windshield up here. That is one of my favorite features. Absolutely. I love all the natural light. The one thing you can't buy in an RV is natural light. And I love the shade because you have it when you have it. And when you don't, you don't need it. Imagine being in this camper somewhere, boondocking, looking up at the stars. Oh, yes. And not getting bit by the bugs because you are inside your RV. Good point. Inside the living room. Look this, at this. All look this, at this seating. Right. You have seating over here and seating over here. This is the only Integra Super C that gives you double sofas. You have the cabinetry up there. Why don't you show everybody? Very nice cabinetry, I have to say. Hidden hinge. Hidden Very hinge nice. cabinetry. You do have the frameless windows with the shades. Show the daytime and- So we got the daytime shades and the privacy shades. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, very cute balances. I really like that. Yep. And oh, it has a televator. Look at that. Nice televator. So when you need the TV, you have it. Or when you have a great site, you just drop it down and it's like it doesn't even exist. Excellent. Look at that. More great storage. Yep. Now here's your sofa here. And you also have a sofa over there. That sofa does jackknife to make a bed. This one does not. But here's what I do like. Cup holders on each side. So Absolutely. when you're driving down the road, you're not going to spill your drinks and everything. Good point. And look at this dinette. Mm -hmm. This is great Very for nice. families. See you sitting here. Eating. Look at the light fixture. I mean, just their attention to detail. They did a great job. Absolutely. This dinette does drop down to make a bed to give you even more sleeping area. Andrea, you know, depending on how big the people are, you know, heights, if they're kids or adults, you can easily sleep six to eight people in wow. here comfortably. And there is a lot of seating space. Yep. Look at this kitchen. Oh, wow. I'm really liking this. Solid surface countertops. Oh, look how that opens. Wow. That's awesome. All right. We got the... Wi-Fi, WineGuard, everything, Sony. Look at these beautiful drawers. They did a really good job. Again, great job, Integra. Got the convection microwave here. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Oops, sorry. And then. Thank you. You know there's yeah, a little these heavy Yeah, these are heavy. Me. These are certainly heavy, but you have the nice three burner cooktop right there. Absolutely. And that's more of a residential style cooktop. Look at it. Sure is. And look at the backsplash. Good job. And we have more cabinetry here. Oh, what? This is a very interesting sink. I got to show you this. Wow. Nice very big nice. farmhouse yep. style. Farmhouse the countertop style. in this Super C is amazing. I like it a lot. And I like all the storage here. Nice pantry. Got a cabinet under here. Trash can. And, oh, look. You get the Whirlpool residential style refrigerator. Beautiful. Good job. Okay. And a little tight, a little tight in this is, walkway, but I'm okay with it because to get this type of refrigerator in a Super C is unheard of. True. And look at this. Man. That's a great pantry. Pull out pantry. Yep. Okay. Now in the center here, we do have the bathroom. It's a little tight, and that's why they put the sink on the outside here. And I'm totally fine with that. I'd rather have them do this rather than trying to cram it all into the bathroom. Right, and they give you a pocket door right here so you have privacy. Yep, you um, wanna stand back this way. I like way. the sink, very cute. Mm -hmm. Then you can go into there. So check this out. 
Nice big one piece fiberglass shower. I love this. I like the glass doors, the seat right there. And again, the sink is on the outside and I much prefer that because this gives you a great toilet position. You know it's a porcelain toilet because this is a super seat and it can handle the weight. And look, I'm nice, I'm comfortable. I got good shoulder space. Toilet paper holders right there. It's a fantastic bathroom. Okay, Matt, look, coming into the bedroom. I'm super excited about this. You got a king size bed. Yep. I love the headboard. Look at this cabinetry up here. It's fantastic. You got reading lights. Show that one. Uh huh. And look at the wardrobe. Pull, open that one up right, right there. So I'm going to open see. this one. Yep. Drawers. And look, they really gave you some good size drawers here. The TV. And right. this TV actually oh. swings up with storage behind it. And then, do you know what that is? Prepped for a combo combo washer dryer. Oh yeah, very nice. That's great. And they even gave you drawers under here. They sure did. Tons of drawers and tons of storage. And let me just check. Yep, we got some storage under the bed. Bit Look of at that. Underneath. That's great. All well, right. Well, Andrea, the inside of this motorhome is great, but what makes it a super seat is everything that they give you on the outside. Let's go take a look. I can't wait. All right, let's get started with the outdoor features. Yes. As you can see, Andrea, it has a nice, huge power awning with LED lights. Full take body paint on this motorhome, which is absolutely beautiful. Great storage. I love these doors. Yes. Look at this. Because this is an Integra coach, there's two things I want you to know about. Integra coach has the two year, three year structural warranty, and it does have the Easy Drive Premier system, which makes it a computer balanced drive shaft with shock, um, Kony shock absorbers, which is going to make this one of the smoothest, best riding super seas on the market today. Wow, this storage is incredible. Look at this. Absolutely. Wow, it's crazy. And okay. Then, Check this out. We do have a TV on the outside, Insignia with your Furion speakers and DVD player. You know, Matt, I'm really liking the paint job on here. The paint job looks beautiful, and what really complements it is the frameless windows. Yes. Frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome, so you can keep them open even during the rain. We've got our propane tank. Yep, that's going to be for your furnace and water heater. And some more storage. Tons and tons of storage. And listen, folks, don't worry about loading this up too much. You can 100% handle it. That's why you buy the Super C. Absolutely. Just more storage, little compartment there. Uh-huh. Okay. Coming around the back, Andrea. That looks pretty. That is a 12,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 12,000 pounds. Wow. And Matt, what type of roof is on here? It does have a ladder because it has a one piece fully walkable fiberglass roof. And as you can see up there, you do have camera in reverse. Also, there is side cameras as well so you can see everything going around at all times. Wow, okay. There's your water heater. Here's your Cummins Onan 8000 diesel generator. Wow. Very quiet, Andrea, that's really? a quiet generator. That's good. Oh, look at the wet bay here. They did a great job on this. Absolutely. Now this is not the fun part whenever you gotta dump your tanks. I like how clean and organized it is. It's very nice, very simple to use. Look, paper they even towels. got a paper towel yes. holder. I love that. And there's where you can fuel up your diesel fuel. Yep. And then right here is just some of the other side of your pass-through storage. What's really nice about this motorhome is that when we're all done, that's a big, thick, heavy power cord. All I have to do is click the retract button, and it's going to reel it back in, so I don't need to worry about that heavy lifting. Especially if you go camping in the cold, trust me, that 50 amp power cord gets really oh, I heavy. Bet. <laughs> Okay, and this is just the other side of the storage. Yep. Oh my goodness. Now for the grand finale, the engine. So this is an S2 RV chassis from Freightliner. And the S2 chassis was designed for RVers. The reason why is because the nose slopes down just slightly more than its M4 chassis. And that's so when you're at the campground, if somebody runs in front of you, you have better visibility on what's going on in front of you. And then check this out. Also a design for RVers. It only takes 16 pounds of pressure to raise this hood up. Look at that. Isn't that a beauty? It's a 
Again, it's a Cummins 360 horsepower with a 3000 Allison transmission. And the S2 RV chassis was designed before you do your pre-check inspection, before you go camping, you can do that all within arm's reach. You can pull your oil dipstick right here. You can check your trans fluid. Everything you can do from right here. You don't need to be a super mechanic to be able to operate one of these chassis. That's great to know. Absolutely. for checking into the virtual RV show. Absolutely, we're running the show from now until the end of the month. So make sure you check out one of our 13 locations nationwide to visit the virtual RV show. And if you can't, don't worry, you can always give us a call or more importantly, check us out at generalrv.com for all show prices, inventory and availability. Thanks so much for watching. Jake, back to you. Thanks, Matt and Andrea. Make sure you guys stick around for more RV tours. We'll see you guys back after this. Like many of you, I like watching pro sports and my kids absolutely must have Netflix wherever we go. That's why I like this Dish Wally HD satellite receiver and Pathway X2 portable satellite TV antenna from WineGuard. The Wally is the smallest and fastest mobile receiver on the market. The new design can fit into tight spaces, saving your room. It has an easy to use interface and an RF remote so you can operate the receiver up to 200 feet away, even through walls and obstructions. The satellite receiver easily integrates with all types of RVs thanks to a simple coax RF modulator. The Pathway X2 for DISH is 100% automatic and self-installs faster than any other automatic antennas. The X2 runs through the DISH receiver menu using the new DISH mobile protocol. Just set your state and the X2 will do the rest. It's that simple. The X2 is the only DISH approved portable satellite that allows seamless viewing on two TVs, which means you'll never miss a play. Air vent covers like this Max Air 2 vent cover are a must have accessory for all RVs. Vent covers allow musty air, smoke, and cooking odors to escape your RV. They let in fresh air even when it's raining and are designed to keep water out too. The Max Air 2 features twice as much ventilation area as the original vent cover and a solid one-piece sleek design. It's made of high-density polyethylene with maximum UV protection and comes with a six-year warranty. Best in its industry. It's available in translucent white, smoke tint, and black to coordinate with your RV's exterior paint. Since we're heading into the fall, I wanted to talk about a product that can help you extend your camping season. Heated hoses. Pirate heated hoses work in below freezing temperatures so you have constant source of water available. These electrically heated hoses are available in various lengths and prevent freezing down to minus 42 degrees Fahrenheit. The inner surface is made up of food grade PVC materials approved by the FDA for portable water. It's simple to use. Just unroll the hose, connect the female end of the hose to your faucet and plug the three prong cord into a GFCI outlet. That's it. The heater is thermostatically controlled, so you don't have to turn anything on. It will automatically start heating when the ambient temperature approaches freezing. To learn more or to get yours, go to your local General RV Supercenter today. Hey, welcome back everyone. Up next, Matt and Becky are gonna walk you guys through the brand new 2021 Dutchman Yukon. We'll see you after this.
Thanks, Jake. I'm really excited about today, actually. We're in front of a 2021 Dutchman Yukon 410RD. And I'll tell you what, guys, I have not seen anything like this floor plan at all. Becky, you ready to show me around a little bit? Ready to show you around, Matt. Let's go check it out. All right. All right, Matt, here we are. Check this kitchen out. Becky, so I have seen I a lot of units before, but this is nothing like I, in terms of layout and floor plan, I've never seen anything like this before. It's pretty killer. This is awesome. It's definitely different. Um, this kitchen is amazing. I mean, there's so many things and so many features in this kitchen that are just crazy cool. I think this is probably my favorite. Yeah, I think my attention drew over here first. You don't ever see this. It's a separate buffet. You could make this really whatever you wanted. You could make it a buffet. You could make it a dry bar. You could make it a working station. Um, anything that you wanted, your crock pot, your, your coffee maker, it's now all out of the way. Yeah, plugs. I, I got everything yep, I need here. Plugs. It's easy to get to. I can reach in the corner. I got plugs here. There's another light here. Plenty of easy to get to storage. Right. This is really cool. This is Even cool. Even just an extension of just counter space too, but you could use it for so many different things. So many things, so many possibilities. What a great idea. This is good. Uh, right behind you, yep. if you want to open that door. Absolutely. It's an amazing storage place. Now that's, you, that's pretty big. You I, could hang coats in there too. There is a little, <laughs> there great is size. a little coat spot it. on the oh. other side there so you can hang coats, but obviously you mostly you could use that for your pantry. <laughs> the, this is um, some pretty nice appliances. I mean, it's all residential, steel, looks, right? All residential. I mean, this the the so fridge, I got, freezer. I got a Samsung refrigerator in here, which is looks like the one in my house. Right. Yep. And same thing moving over to the range top, the insignia range top. Oh yeah, pull up freezer pull and everything freezer. there. Um, yeah, the range again, which is great. Can't go wrong with that. Huge. Four burners. Huge four burners too. I see in different sizes actually. Convection microwave, I love that. Double sink. Nice big island. Nice big sink. Storage under there, I'm assuming too. I can't see from this side. Correct. Okay. Yep, storage. You have a nice place for your garbage can, which you don't see a lot. Oh, that's smart. That's very smart. Love that. And I love they have, if you can see too, yep. there's some lighting underneath of here. Oh, a little Just accent a little light. accent lighting. Yeah. It's the really small nice. things. I like my lighting, things. so good catch on that. Yep. So I want to say something really fast because this is different. So there's a good separation in here between the kitchen and then the living space. Yes. This is very different, but I really like it. Um, again, I don't think I've ever seen anything that we have right now on like this. Not really, no. I mean, this is three couches, we have three separate sitting areas with good view for your TV and all of these windows. I mean, you have two slides here, so this is a slide. This is a slide, so with the dual opposing slides in your living room, it really opens the space up really well. There's tons of room in here. Tons of rooms, and they're nice seating. So if you want to, I got to sit on the couch. Seating. You know, yeah, yeah and you can sit on the couch. So these recline, and they're power. Power. And another thing I see because we've talked about this a couple times already in a few of our videos is the USB outlets. So I do see a USB outlet on here. You can never have enough USB outlets, I don't think. Right. So that's great. It's power. But this is great. It's comfortable too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Thomas Payne furniture. I love Thomas Payne furniture. Um, obviously, you can see that we do have a fireplace in here as well. It will produce heat. Nice big TV. And you can see on the other, I like the fact that there's two opening windows on the opposite side of the TV. And I think a big thing you said there is they open. So they open. that's another nice thing about getting cross breeze and feeling the outside. Right. I still can't get over how big the windows are on this slide though in right. general. Um, it just They're it, it really opens big. it completely up to the campsite, which is great, which is what you want. Yeah, I mean, look at how big those windows are. And this are. is a huge slide. I can stand up here. I'm about six foot and I still have plenty of space. Of you never see slides this big. This is great. See the ceiling fan? Love having a ceiling fan. That's really nice. I, I, I had a ceiling fan in my RV. Lights. Yep. Even those great glass cabinet doors up top too, which really look good. Um, so the table. Table. New table. New. New. Let's I haven't seen that. this before. This is a new one. So it lifts up. I was okay. like, well, this is interesting. What does so this usually do? Usually there's a leaflet sometimes you got to pull out, right? Right. This, all built in. It's very nice. I really like this. Wow. I know. That was really easy. And it does come with two extra chairs sure. too. Sure. 
Before, yeah, that's... But you can easily hit sit four here comfortably. Mm -hmm. And all that storage underneath of there. So that's great for card board games, anything. If you wanted to keep your silverware or anything like that in there, you could do that too. Placemats, stuff like that. Yeah. Absolutely. He's just slide right in. Yeah. That's it. Boom. Very cool. Very you want to nice. go check out the bathroom? Yeah. I, can we top this right now? I don't think it could get better. The bathroom's Let's go. Good. Bathroom's pretty good. So obviously you can see the shower is massive. Uh, I don't think I've seen a shower this big yet. This is one huge shower. Wow. And you have a nice little seat. That, and you still have plenty of room. We're just going to do space. this for this video to show how big it is. <laughs> and I can fit under the shower head, which is not common. <laughs> this is this is huge. I cannot believe how big this is. Yeah, this is a, you can't go wrong. This is an awesome shower. Now you do have, yeah, obviously your door. So yeah, you can close it off for your privacy off. from everything else. So right. That's good. Yeah. This is great too. So not only do you have that nice big storage when you walked in the RV. Right. I'll get out of your way and open it. Nice, huge storage for in your bathroom. Looks like removable shelves. I got a clothesline up top if I want to put that. And then also I see an outlet and I see a washer dryer hookup Correct. as well. So you could do a stackable unit in here if you wanted to. Yeah, there's plenty of space for it. Absolutely. You got Very your nice. fan, another skylight, the there's double two, sink. Two skylights in here, oh, one with the shower and that opens it up. And oh, this, this is another great piece too. So you can have that one. I'll have I'll have this, but I also get this. You can have this, okay, but I no, get everything. Good with that. That should work. <laughs> is that enough well, for you? I'm not I'm not too needy. <laughs> but I still have space under here. Yes. Which is plenty of space, which is really nice. And lots of drawers. Drawers. Now a separate. I like my peace and quiet in the morning. So is this? I nice separation for your toilet. And usually there's we sacrifice room in here. And but I don't see any room sacrificed in here. Plenty of room. Very nice. Okay, now to the bedroom, which is equally as is amazing. King bed, residential king bed. In the so slide. Your normal sheets will fit on here. Obviously in a slide. Which is not common. And then do you see this ginormous TV across from you? This, you see the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I see a fireplace, another fireplace. Another two fireplace. Two fireplaces in this two unit. Two fireplaces. And two big TVs. Huge TVs. Wow. Yeah, I mean, this TV in a bedroom, you don't see. No. 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 I, mean, I see small TVs, but not that size. So storage, nice little accent lighting behind the glass cabinet doors, too. It's usable, which is great. Okay. And then. Now you have all of this storage as well. So you have. Lots of space for all of your clothes, all of your little undergarments, anything you need. I mean, there's one, two, three, there's nine drawers here. So you have another hanging space here as well. Another little cabinet here, but probably my favorite hamper as a laundry hamper. What a great idea. Can't go wrong with a laundry hamper. So genius. It's great, great storage in this. Well, they really thought of everything on this unit. They really did. So, and I have all my plugs. I got outlet plugs next to the bed. I have my USB plugs next to the bed. Mm -hmm. And it's a nice headboard. Storage underneath too. Of course. We didn't have enough storage in this already. Right. Now you've got tons wow. of space down there too. Wow. I'm impressed. It's pretty good, right? This might be one of my favorites. I, Absolutely. I, I love the master. Yes. This is, it's so big. That kitchen area is one of my favorites, I'd say. The so. kitchen? Well, that you can have the kitchen, different. I'll take, I'll the, like the, I'll take the master. Enough. As long as I get that right <laughs> sink, we're good. Well, do you want to go outside and check out the yeah, outside, Yeah, what else right? does this have to show? As you can see right here, another big, nice grab handle. I'm a huge fan of the big grab handles. Solid surface steps. Really nice. Love that. Great stability. Two awnings. See those two. Plenty of coverage for the campsite for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. Plenty of shade. Now, this is really standing out. This is crazy. Usually I see one door on here, but I see two doors and I see and something that we see on motorhomes, yes. which is a slide out storage tray. Yeah, we typically do not see this in the fifth wheel segment by any means. So this is great. I mean, this is an RV that you would probably live in. You don't have to live in this RV, but you, if you chose to, this is an amazing basement storage space for all of your outside stuff. Even if you're a weekender, it just makes things easy to get in and out of too. Exactly.
That's great. Yep, love that. Love this. You do have some plugs down here too. Um, docking lights, your awning lights. So that's always nice to have too. And then you still have storage on that side. Full storage pass through on that. Correct. It's really, there's no obstructions for the most part. Small no. pipe, but other than that, I can get in here all the way and very nice. And it's lighted too. So Correct. I can see in there at dark. Right. You do have outside speakers as well. Um, and then we'll go on the other side. What's this over here? So I saw that. that? I've this seen is just that, a I little think, before, extra storage compartment. So this would be a great spot for your tools. Mm -hmm. Little dry box area. Yep. This one's two. I see power outlet over here. Mm -hmm. 110. You do have some auto level as well. I forgot to point that one out. I do like the rim, the, the rims on here. They're really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Do you want to go on the other side? Yeah, absolutely. Let's see what, what else is over there. So I want to point out too that there is this nice big storage compartment up in the front here as well. So, and a spare tire is in there too. And a spare tire. And then plenty of room for batteries. Two batteries. Very nice. And is that an inverter too, I see? Yes. Very nice. All right, so we go over here. And obviously, you see, these are just going to be for your other side for the storage. I like so. how they're on these these struts. That makes it a lot and better. And they're slam latch, so you don't have to do anything. That's nice. Shut them and forget about it. And I see the leveling controls over here on the inside as well. Yep. It's easy to get to. It's nice because you're always going to be outside, typically, when you're putting that down. And then your docking station. So everything is just easy to hook up and easy to take off. So everything's in there. Water, everything's my right valves there. for some of my dumps. Yep. Cable, power, hot water, city water, everything you need. That makes it easy. Yes. All right, Matt. Well, that wraps it up for the 2021 Dutchman Yukon 410RD. Thanks a lot for joining us. Becky, thanks for showing it to You're me. You're welcome. I encourage all you at home to come on by and check one of these out at one of our 13 super centers. Or if you can't come in, into the store and check it out, go online, generalrv.com, or give us a call. Back to you, Jake. Thanks, Matt and Becky. Well, that's a wrap for day five. Make sure you guys go to our YouTube and our Facebook to subscribe. We'll see you guys back here on Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you on the lot.